Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a vehicle guys. And I'll say a vehicle, anything from past maybe 1990 guys, it will work guys. We will explain how to test PCV valve, how to clean PCV valve and we will explain how that PCV valve can completely destroy your engine. PCV valves are things that most people never think about guys, but that little device, okay, it's so little, it's so inexpensive, but it can destroy your engine guys and it can cause so much trouble like giving you code for uh, bad oxygen sensors, fuel leaks, uh, vacuum leaks, lean fuel mixtures, so many things guys. So uh, before we start, let me tell you guys, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information. Now, something else guys, if you need to buy a new PCV valve, parts, tools for your car for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping guys so okay we have hyundai here doesn't matter if you have hyundai ford uh, kia guys any any vehicle pretty much that uses uh, dodge chrysler fiat the simple design of pcv valves okay something like that we'll explain how to test and how to clean those as well there are three different types of pcv systems for instance bmw and german cars use a little bit more complicated system uh, but most of the other cars use something like that which is pretty simple and it works great guys but that actually is serviceable component most of you don't know that but you're supposed to replace it and in some cases you can just clean it and not replace it for your car to work correctly if that valve is bad this is the number one reason guys for bad okay uh, for bad uh, uh, consumption of oil you can have increased fuel consumption and we're going to explain why now uh, before we start let me tell you guys we have a second channel it's called electrical car repair life you can find information about diagnostics fixing codes airbag codes things like that for your vehicle that will teach you how to do quite a few things so on this car for instance guys we're going to remove the uh, the cover here for the engine and the pcv valve is usually located somewhere on the valve cover okay check it out it will be something like that what that valve does okay let me explain now quick okay that valve will be located right here and uh, with that valve okay being installed now okay it will be right here you have that hose that goes to it and the hose then goes to the intake manifold when your engine runs guys okay the pistons go up and down that creates pressure if that pressure is not taken out of the engine you're going to fail seals gaskets you develop multiple oil leaks and you can even blow a head, gas head gasket so that device takes that pressure and injects it in the intake manifold from there it goes to the uh, cylinders and it's burned through the exhaust but if guys that valve gets stuck close what will happen you have increased pressure inside and that increased pressure guys okay can actually okay that increased pressure can cause so many oil leaks so if you recently developed multiple oil leaks on your engine check that valve if it's stuck open sometimes if it's not working correctly it could be the number one reason for uh consumption oil consumption why because the fuel uh, the vapors here okay it's supposed to get only the vapors from the pressure and the oil fumes should drain back in the engine but if it doesn't separate it guys what will happen it will inject uh, uh, oil fumes in the intake manifold and you will be burning engine oil now something else okay something else about those valves guys even though they're so simple guys okay they can cause vacuum leaks if it's stuck open close it can give you codes if it's bad for oxygen sensors uh, lean fuel mixtures and multiple things so let's explain now guys how we're going to test it now this is the valve you can see obviously we have some problems on the inside it's pretty dirty guys now when you move it you should hear you should hear a ball like a ball moving inside ours does but that doesn't mean it's working guys we'll get a balloon okay we're going to get a balloon we're going to grab it okay right here and i'm going to get the pump and you need to go from the engine side from the valve cover side blow it towards the intake side okay And check it out guys, our balloon, okay, deflates. Do you see? Our balloon deflates completely, guys. What, what that means, the PCV valve doesn't hold the pressure. That's a bad valve. We're going to attempt cleaning it and see if that's gonna fix it, so stay with us and we're going to see if that's gonna take care of the problem now. 
so we'll get guys brake cleaner manifold okay uh, intake cleaner or muff sensor cleaner works even better but we'll get brake cleaner okay and you want to okay clean the inside of that valve wear gloves guys always wear gloves eye protection as well because it sprays everywhere and that thing is supposed to get everything loose okay check out okay dirty stuff are coming out you can see the more we soak it the more stuff come out okay so i'll even recommend to do that in the open guys okay because uh what can happen actually okay uh that's not good for you to breathe in guys especially wear gloves too now let's see okay we're going to uh, what we're going to do okay we're going to let it soak again in a little bit but we want to go with the pump one more time okay And how works guys? Okay, it's still not closing correctly. Okay, we can see stuff coming out. Okay, you can definitely guys see more stuff coming out. So let's spray a little bit more on the inside. What we can do, we can actually probably poke the hole and let it soak a little bit. So what we're going to do, fill it up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna let it soak come out okay you can see all the fine things that are coming out that's uh, carbon build up and that carbon build up is what's preventing it to close uh, the probably even a better way to clean it is to fill up a container so you can just move it around okay and that way almost everything can come out but definitely guys that's a very very dirty valve so let's go ahead pump it again okay Let's go the other way now. It's still not closing all the way, guys. It's still not closing. So, this valve failed, guys. Okay. This valve definitely, definitely failed. As you can see, it should close. It doesn't. Okay. We're going to test it with the balloon. So, there are multiple components that can break on the inside and if cleaning doesn't take care of it you will have to replace it guys so let's go ahead pump the balloon now okay let's check it's way better but it's still coming out so cleaning will not fix it because okay it's not sealing correctly on the inside guys and it shouldn't be that way so that's a bad valve guys okay right there you will need to replace it in that case and we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get a new one if you need to for your vehicle so what we did we messed it with it we did more guys we inflated the balloon and we found out that the valve when it's sideways okay it actually that thing uh, is not centered it's broken guys on the inside so it doesn't close this and you will notice that if we bring it to the center okay let me focus quick one second if we bring it to the center that thing is centered it's going to actually prevent leaks and it will work correctly but the moment guys it comes to one of the sides it starts leaking and that pcv valve it should uh, be self-centered and in our case something's something's not right on the inside so definitely guys that valve will need to be replaced it's not working correctly but that's uh, how you get the idea if the valve is good or bad now if you want to see any specific video for your car how to fix things never hesitate leave a comment below in the comment section below if we have time we'll try to make that video thank you for watching and see you guys next time